Hello, and what's going on, everyone? This video today brings us on to Woodhaven Road. We're going to go for a ride on Woodhaven Road over through to about the area of Byberry Road and toward the infamous Road to Nowhere, as I like to call it. This is an expressway that was built in the 1960s, I believe, and it was never completed. It just dead ends right at Byberry Road, right past the Boulevard. And Byberry Road is just a disastrous roadway that is overly congested because this road was never completed. Exits coming up include Knights Road, Academy Road, and Thornton Road. Up ahead, I believe, is Melbourne Avenue, or Melbourne Road. Philadelphia Mills Mall is at this exit at Knights Road on the right, easily accessible. Will also take us to one of our most hatred intersections and a top bad intersection at Knights Road and Street Road, which we just did a video on last week. Now you'll notice here we're going to open up the three lanes. Like I said, this is pretty much the road to nowhere. You get a nice three lane roadway in each direction, traffic flows well, and then it just all ends at Byberry Road, just all dumps in. And there were actually many attempts over the years to have this complete. Nowadays it's just physically not possible. You have houses that have developed. It's just not possible. This road was originally to go all the way out to Lansdale. I believe there was once another plan where it would have taken a little more northern route and connect up to 33 up in the Lehigh Valley. That would have been a good route. That was obviously scrapped. That was the least talked about route, actually. Not many know about that one. But, uh, yeah, this should have definitely have been made out to Lansdale. At least Hadborough and maybe tie in with the turnpike, that would have been nice. Because, for those who don't know, Street Road, County Line Road, Byberry Road, overly congested with traffic. Street Road, I always thought should have had a bypass. You know how we have the 30 bypass out there in uh, Chester County that bypasses Lancaster Avenue Route 30? We should have had a similar thing for Street Road in Bucks County. Because Street Road is just over congested. And here you go. You just dump into this. Oh, see all this traffic? It's because the expressway just literally ends here. And this is what you're left with. One parking lot all the way to Bustleton. Like the song Ozzy Osbourne made, the road to nowhere leads to me. Yeah, this is the road to nowhere. Because <laughs> it just ends up here. There are some businesses back there. It's an incomplete expressway. And the last attempt that they did in the early to mid-2000s, the last attempt to continue this expressway, the story has it, and I clearly remember it, I was actually going through the intersection that morning. At Bustleton and Byberry Road, people came out with lawn chairs and actually blocked the traffic. They sat there and blocked traffic, protesting the extension of this highway because it would take their homes away. I mean, I get it. It would take their homes away and everything. Sad thing, but you know what? That wouldn't have been an issue if this road was just completed from the get-go. And the problem is politics got in the way. I think they might have ran out of money. PennDOT didn't have the funding at the time. And now, like I said, it's just physically not possible. And unfortunately, this situation is only going to get worse because on Byberry Road, 
you actually have more homes being built just past Second Street Pike. So 232 on the left-hand side. So that's only going to add to the problem. It's going to mean more volume on this road. And this is what you're left with. You can see the dead end up ahead. It really is the road to nowhere. So I guess you could say the road to nowhere leads to the Somerton section of Philadelphia. Because that's technically where we're coming into is Somerton. Up here on the left is a construction site from where the Nabisco factory used to be. Don't know what the plans are for it. There have been a lot of different proposed things. At one time, there was calls for a Costco. Kind of wish the Costco was coming. The nearest Costco to Northeast Philadelphia is up in, up on Jacksonville and Street Road in Warminster. There's another one in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. And the other one after that, you got to go out to King of Prussia. Now, I think there's going to be a virtual golf place coming in here. Apparently, they are a trend now. There's one in New Jersey, and I'm hearing it's a big deal. So we'll see how that goes. And at the rate you can move through this intersection, the construction might be done before you get through the traffic here. It's just awful, this intersection up here. And it's even worse at Bustleton and Byberry, which is, I would rank Bustleton and Byberry as a top 10 worst intersection in the city. Just the amount of congestion through there is just totally ridiculous. And we will be going through that intersection in this video before we leave you off to showcase how bad this stretch of roadway is. And there's another feature up here I have not mentioned yet that is equally as bad as this road, the congestion in this area. And unfortunately, it's a problem that's going to need to be addressed really soon, and it's going to make a bad situation worse. And that is the bridge that goes over to CSX short line rail line up here and I will show that to you the bridge is in god awful shape hang on tight because it's going to be a bumpy ride over that bridge And we're coming up here on Byberry Road, which we will be making a right on. Eventually. Eventually we will get through this traffic. All because of the road to nowhere, which leads to Somerton. There we go. And we got a whole bunch more traffic to go through. This will likely be congested all the way to Boston Avenue. There goes some happy Eagles fans. 
or hopefully to be happy. Hopefully the birds get a win. If you're watching this video, you probably already know the answer. As we will likely be uploading this video after the game. Next day. That's how it works. So hopefully you're watching this in a mindset that the Eagles won. Passing the U.S. Post Office. I believe that's one of their sorting rooms. Big sorting facility. United States Postal Service. And we're also passing Mass Community Charter School. All right, here comes the bumpy old bridge. I would think they're going to be doing some work on this pretty soon. I heard rumbles about it. What I want to know is where are they going to detour all of this traffic? It's going to be a nightmare. If they have to just completely replace this bridge or rehabilitate it, it's just going to be a disaster. I mean, look, both directions are an absolute parking lot. I mean, it's a disaster through here. Let's just be honest. There's some more Eagles fans. Getting ready to go down to the game. Yeah. Nice and bumpy for you, eh? Sheesh. And look at the traffic through here. It just keeps... <laughs> just totally ridiculous. I mean, as far as you can see in each direction, it's a sea of traffic. This is truly probably one of the most congested stretches of roadways in northeast Philadelphia. For the capacity, the only being one lane in each direction, it's just ridiculous. And I mean, it's been like this for decades. And it's not going to get any better. There's not really much the city can do about it either. Because the expressway was never complete. Coming up on Byberry and Worthington Road. see if we can make some movement after this intersection. Oh, look at that. We're moving a little bit now. And just still a parking lot on the other side. It's enjoying his music a little bit. I would say. We are passing, what is the name of the school? I've never actually seen the name of the school. Watson T. Conley Elementary School. You know, that's the first time I've ever known the name of the school. I've driven by there thousands of times. Never actually looked at the school name. <laughs> and as you see, the traffic on the other, it just keeps going. I mean, we're, we're approaching Bustleton now, and there's still just a parking lot. At least we're moving. Sometimes this is even congested going in our direction. I thought it would be. And here we are, one of my top ten most hated intersections. This intersection is just an absolute disaster. It is just always congested. 
and we will likely not make this light not going to attempt to either unless it's still green because there is a red light camera at this intersection i do know people who have gotten tickets at this intersection do not run the red light city will mail you a ticket at this intersection and several other intersections throughout the city And we were going to leave you off after this intersection. And it looks like Bustleton is nice and congested this afternoon. Didn't think we were going to make this light. We will definitely get through here before. Oh, isn't that nice? There's a guy that pulled out of the gas station over here. Yeah, check that out. He's blocking a... Whoa! Did you just see that one? He just flew right around everybody. Okay, so we got double the, oh nuts, the light's going to turn. And this one's going right through and we're stuck in the middle. Oh, just, just lovely. Oh, I hope we didn't get the ticket. Like I said, that is just a horrible intersection. And look at the congestion on bustles. Often it's much worse. Often it's all the way past the Leo Mall. All right, that was fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more goofy stuff like this, and wherever else we may end up, Hit the like and subscribe button down below. Enjoy your day.